Another way to do this section is if I didn't want to do a full section like that, I could do a breakout section and just do a section in a little a little part of it. So if I, before I had done it leaving and everything, I could just done this part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to breakout section. And now I kind of need to sketch a little area here of where I want to section. So I'm just gonna kind of do a little a couple squeaky lines, then bring it back up there. Now it wants to know how deep do I want to section it. So I'm gonna say I want to section through that hole. And if I preview it, I can kind of see what's going on and see where my cutting plane line is. I pick it on the hole, it knows I want to cut through the middle of that hole. Or I can take that edge off and I can adjust it manually to get the cutting plane. It would be better just to pick on that to cut it right in the middle, say OK. So now I can see where that hole cuts through without having to, to affect the rest of the drawing. So if I didn't want to make redo the whole thing, I could do a breakout of just one piece of it to get to it. Can you start over again? What? Yeah. So I'm going to go to a broken out section. Oh, okay. Then I'm just going to kind of draw a little squiggly spline. And then pick the hole that I want to cut through. And say OK. Now as long as if I want to check, if I want to change where this line is, what do I do? to this view, drawing view 6, that's the one that that is. If I go to that, there's my broken out section, right click, edit sketch. Now I can grab that and move it around. And there, it, it, it updates it. So you can always go back and edit the sketch of whatever it was that you created. Same thing with the section line, straight one. It's not as long as you want it or it accidentally got stuck to the top of the line, go back in, sketch, and, and bring it out. 